How do pilots see a runway that's practically invisible? And better question, how do they land on that? In this video, we're going to be answering that question. Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another DTF video. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining to all of you people how an ILS system is operated and used. So, how this process works is, you see this little thing? It says PFD menu on it. Go down to that. Now, they don't have all of these. Right now, we're in the T TBM 930 in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So, in this plane, this is how it works. And it has this. So, go ahead and come down to that. So, once you're there, the first thing we're going to do is minimums. You usually don't do this till later, but I just like to do this first. How do you find the minimums? Well, there's this website for that. It is called Sky Vector. Go ahead and just search Sky Vector into your browser. Hit the first one, Sky Vector Flight Planning. Once you're here, go ahead and hit Airports on the top left. And search the airport code. So for me, it's KL... GA for LaGuardia. Okay, so then you're going to go ahead and scroll down until you see instrument approach procedure, ILS or localizer, runway 04. That is the one we want. Okay, so once you have that all pulled up, I'm going to go ahead and go back to Microsoft Flight Simulator and I'll go ahead and pull that up on the side for you guys. Okay, so what we see at the bottom is it says 283 over 40. That means our minimums are going to be 283 feet for our radio altimeter. 283 feet. Enter. Okay. It's got that. We come up here. Now we can see radio altimeter 283 feet minimums. It's all put in right there. Now. Go to MFD, Procedure, Approach, and select, the airport should already put it in if you put in a flight plan, the approach for the runway you want. So ILS-4, this means Instrument Landing System, Runway 4. Instrument Landing System, Runway 1-3. Go ahead and select the one you want. Transition, we're going to go ahead and use this top one here and go ahead and hit load okay, guys so i went ahead and i actually i messed up on this part do not click the golf golf romeo echo golf click the victor alpha romeo alpha zulu so the second transition if you're fine to LaGuardia, i just messed up on that don't click the top one click the second one Okay guys, so this next part of the video is pretty much just be me talking about something for a really long time that did really not need this long for me to talk about. So, I'll just talk to you guys about it right now. So, pretty much this chart that you have sitting in front of you, it's marking um, four different waypoints on it. And those four are slowly descending. That's kind of showing you your descending point going into the runway. It's actually really simple, but I described it really weird for some reason. Um, but what you see is you see a few numbers, so 3,000. 3,000, that 3,000 is pretty much just saying, hey, you can't be at this waypoint and don't be below. So what you pretty much have to do when you're flying in there is just set your autopilot to 3,000 before you get to that waypoint. Once you hit that waypoint, set your autopilot to 2,200, so then you're at 2,200 at the next waypoint and keep doing that until you get to uh, Dennis, I think is how you, kind of how you say it. I'm going to say Dennis. Um, that's the one that you have to be at 1,700 for. That, you see a little like triangle thing. That just means that that's like the glide slope. And that's pretty much when you hit that, want to hit that approach button. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, I said it way too complicated before, but there's kind of the easier version of it. Go ahead and go to nav, scroll to the top of the chart, 
localizer slash dme for laguardia 04 is 110.4 you probably don't know what that means so here's what you want to do audio and radios nav one oh wow when we loaded the approach it did it for us nav one and nav two are already set to the localizer and dme we want 110.50 if okay guys i'm gonna interrupt the video real quick just to tell you something that i've been working on um we our goal is to hit 300 subscribers by the end of this year i need everybody's help to do it because i know that every, not everybody who watches these videos are subscribed and when you're watching this video if you think hey this is pretty good and Think about subscribing, go ahead and subscribe and help us reach our goal of 300. I'm going to be updating this throughout the year until we reach there. Okay, everybody, we have just hit that one waypoint, so we are going to start descending to 2,200 feet. But there is one other thing I would like to draw your attention to. Our compass right here. Our active nav has automatically switched to localizer one you don't even have to switch it yourself it automatically switched and our glide slope for our altitude came up that's this green diamond right here that's telling us if we're too high too low or just in the middle we want it right here right now it's a bit high but we are fine the correct approach once we get on more to that glide slope we should have a horizontal one and it should be good one other thing I want to point out to you guys. It says nav LaGuardia 110.50. You remember from earlier, we actually put in that same number for our nav frequency, which is what this localizer is following right now. So it's saying this localizer is following this frequency. If you just noticed when I was talking, the radio altimeter 2,450 feet just popped up that comes on after we pass 2500 feet you can also see this little indicator here is moving more down and you can't really see it now but if you look right there there's the airport and there's the runway but since we have such low fog we can't see the runway yet so we just hit that next waypoint so if we go back and look at our sheet, we need to be at 2800 for our next waypoint. So I'm also going to start slowing down and setting flaps here soon. So go ahead and start descending before we hit that, which we're going to hit pretty quickly. So I'm going to descend even faster. Keep bringing that speed down, and I'm not going to set flaps one quite yet. Now, this is fully in on the instruments. We're on the instruments the entire time right now because we can't see anything outside. So we're, we're solely focused on these instruments right now. It's now at 20, about 2,800. But now we actually have to get down to 1,700. Switch that one more time. Go back into V-Speed. Keep descending. Once we hit this next waypoint, we can actually go ahead and select approach mode right now. So I've just hit approach mode. So the plane, you can see it just started pitching down quite a lot because what it's actually trying to do right now is it's trying to make this green diamond even with this. So it's going to pitch down as much as it sees necessary to do that. The plane is counteracting the wind right now with a slight crab. And the plane is actually just flying itself right now. So I'm just going to let the plane fly itself on the approach mode, not the nav mode, the approach mode. With the localizer, the correct frequency. And it's just flying itself down to a thousand. Down even lower than that. Okay, guys, so I've just gone ahead and set flaps and gear, and I'm trying to slow down because our approach speed is 85 knots. 
if you look out the bottom left window, you can start to see some stuff, but not out the windshield quite yet. We are coming in close to those minimums, so we do hope we can see some sort of runway light, light soon. I've just gone ahead and made sure to set those lights proper for landing, and I'm just making sure everything is set for landing. The runway is right up here. I'm not going to take control until I do have sights on that runway. Okay, there's the runway. I now have full control over the aircraft. The aircraft was just flying itself, but I did take control as soon as I saw the runway. Okay, you can see all the lights, everything here. Speed is looking phenomenal. Do have some wind here, not that much. Drop the throttle. Try to make it extra butter for you guys. There we go. All right, there we go. Just going to pull off the runway here. Perfectly done. The ILS took us all the way up until we saw those runway lights right below the minimums. And we took over control of the airplane and successfully landed it here in LaGuardia. Guys, if you found this video helpful, please share with a friend who they might also find it helpful. Um, leave a like, maybe subscribe, and until next time, keep the blue side up. Goodbye.